Okay, let's place a still image into our sequence. And um, perhaps we'll even put it into um, uh, a corner of a video so that we can have a video running in the background and then an image that appears and then fades out. Okay, so um, I've got a couple of images here and um, which I've already imported, but I'll go through importing another one. Um, so file, import files, Get used to import following this import dialog instead of dragging and dropping. Okay, so um, I've got a folder in A2 Media, and these are the images that I've already got, and I've already imported those ones, and they're in my images folder. Um, I have another image that I've imported, and it's in the downloads folder, because I found it on the internet, and I pressed download, and so that's where it goes. But it's important for me to put my... Um, all of my resources from for Final Cut into my folder, which is on the network. Because if it's in the downloads folder, I'm not going to be able to find it again um, if I were to sit on a different computer. So uh, let's just drag and drop the one from the downloads folder. And I believe this is it right here. Perfect. Into the images, that's it. And then I can keep all of my assets together and they're stored on the network. Okay, so now I'm going to say file, import, files, and there it is. Great, because it was already, it was remembering the last place that I went to. Choose, and I'm going to be sure to put that into my uh, folder. In uh, video editing, folders are called bins, so I'm going to be sure to put it into my images bin. Okay, double click on it, loads up into here, just so I can check it and make sure that it's looking how I want it to look. And then I'm just going to drag it and drop it down, and I'm going to put it on a video layer um, above the um, video that I'm working with. Okay, so now the still image is placed in the timeline, um, but it needs to be rendered in order to uh, play through. I can place my playhead over it and I can see it, so that's fine, and I'll, I'll just do that for now. Um, I'll render it when we're finished. So um, right now this still image is covering up the video layer that's down below. So if I select the um, still image just once to activate it in the canvas, I can then grab it from the corner and shrink it down. So my argument in this, um, you know, my presentation that I'm creating might be, you know, what's better, puppies or kittens? And uh, so we're going to um, give an example of a puppy down the bottom and see where it might be best suited. And I can even move my um, video over slightly because it is enlarged at this point. Okay. And, um, and then uh, once it's rendered, I can watch it through. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> and that's how to place an image on top of a video.